So in today's video, we're gonna look at how to set up push notifications for your iOS app. Uh, what you need to do first of all is go into your Apple developer account at developer.apple.com. Then what we need to do is go into the certificates, identifiers and profile section. To create um, your certificate, you will need to go into the keys section. And before you have a key, you need to click either the plus icon or create a key. If we click here now, you'll see your options and you want to give your key a name. So I'm just gonna call this push notifications. Whenever you're creating uh, this type of key, you can only have one, I'm just gonna select the Apple push notification service key. You can see here, it actually only allows you to have one key and then you'll reuse this across all of your apps. So once we've gone ahead and tick this option, I'm going to click continue. And this is just confirming the service that you're having. So we can just continue and click register. Once you've finished this, you need to make sure to download your key. As Apple is warning you, you won't be able to re-download this key. So what I suggest you do is you download it straight away and you store it somewhere safe where you know you can re-access it. Um, I'm just gonna click the download button and you can see it's being generated here as a P8 file. Now, what we need to do next is actually drop in this information from the key in our Flipper Studio. So I'm just gonna switch tabs back to my app in the Flipper Studio. Uh, I'm already in my published to Apple devices section and I'm in the push notifications tab. When you expand this option, you'll see that there's two boxes here that you need to fill in. The first one or the second one that we can start with is the key ID. If I go back into my Apple developer account, you can see that the key ID is here and I can just highlight it, copy it and paste it into the studio. You'll also see that it's actually in the name of my file so you could get it from there as well. Now to get the authentication key, you'll need to open this file so you can read it. If you don't have a text editor where you can read it, you can actually just drop it in a browser tab and it will open like this for you. What you need to do is copy all of this key and paste it into this box. Then we click save and our settings has been saved. You'll notice that this little notification is explaining to you that it will only work when the details are correct and you'll have to actually kind of request an app and update it for this to work. So the next section or the next step that we will do once we fill this in is make sure that our app is asking the user to subscribe for notifications. The way that we do that is if I exit this overlay, you'll want to click into this option here called notifications. Once you click into this option, you then want to go into push notification settings. In here, you can have a little read through the instructions, but basically we have to, we have to get the app to ask all users to subscribe to push notifications, otherwise they won't be able to receive one. So you have two options for this. You can either uh, decide to show the notification pop-up automatically. Now the message that is in the pop-up is here and you can change it if you want to change the wording of it. Um, but if you don't want it to just show up automatically when the user first opens the app, you can leave this unticked and you can take this code and paste that into the screen JavaScript of any of your screens in your app. And then it will ask on that specific screen instead. So for example, maybe we want to make sure that the app is asking the user to subscribe for push notifications on the home screen. Now, if we want to do that, I can copy this code. I can just exit this overlay, go into my app, go into either of my screen. I can just go to the event list at the moment. You can open the developer options, choose JavaScript and paste in your code and save. That means whenever the user uh, accesses this screen the first time, they will be asked to subscribe to push notifications. And um, do remember once you've, once you've set up the push notifications, you have to go in and actually update your app so that the changes go live. You don't have to request the IPA again, but you have to do an in-app update.